Surprisingly, Honda is making a big move by pushing Red Bull to replace Sergio Perez with Yuki Tsunoda for the 2025 season. This news is huge, especially for Tsunoda, who has been waiting for this chance for a long time. Fans are buzzing with excitement about what this change could mean for both Red Bull and Tsunoda's career. So, let's dive into this video today to explore all the details behind this shocking development. Sauber and Red Bull have not yet confirmed their full driver lineups for the upcoming season. Nico Hülkenberg and Yuki Tsunoda are still waiting to find out who will join them on the grid. Red Bull has some concerns about Sergio Perez, which adds an unexpected twist to how the lineup will look for next year. Even though Perez signed a new two year contract in June, his performance has been worrying. He nearly lost his seat during the August break, but Red Bull decided to keep him for the rest of the season. It seems that Red Bull will take a closer look at their driver situation as they prepare for the 2025 season. Team principal Christian Horner has hinted at a bigger picture regarding the decision to replace Daniel Ricciardo. Many drivers signed contracts this year, which should keep them in their seats until the end of the 2026 season. This is important because a big rule change is coming in Formula One and teams want a stable driver lineup for the first season with the new cars. However, some drivers are still unsure about their future beyond next year. Journalist Scott Mitchell Malm mentioned on The Race Podcast that one driver might have to look for a new team next year. The situation within the two Red Bull supported teams has been shaky all season. Daniel Ricciardo was finally replaced by Liam Lawson after the Singapore Grand Prix. Now Lawson is competing with Perez for a spot at Red Bull for next year. However, Mitchell Malm believes that no matter what happens over the next year, Tsunoda will enter his final season at Red Bull in 2025. With this change, Yuki Tsunoda is finally set to fulfill his longtime dream of driving a current Red Bull car. Despite being an F1 driver for four years with Red Bull's sister team, he has never had the chance to showcase his talent in a Red Bull vehicle. Tsunoda has strong ties with Honda, which was Red Bull's engine partner from 2019 to 2021. Honda is still involved with Red Bull through a technical partnership, further linking them. This season, Tsunoda has performed exceptionally well with Red Bull's junior team, often outperforming his former teammate Daniel Ricciardo. With Red Bull looking for a potential replacement for Sergio Perez, who has been under scrutiny for his performance, Tsunoda has become a strong candidate for the role. Before the summer break, there was a lot of talk about whether Perez would be replaced. However, Red Bull team principal Christian Horner confirmed that Perez would stay for the rest of the season. Meanwhile, the team made changes, replacing Ricciardo with Red Bull reserve driver Liam Lawson. Helmut Marco, a senior advisor at Red Bull, recently mentioned that a junior driver would race alongside Max Verstappen next year. The team plans to evaluate both Tsunoda and Lawson's performances over the next six races to determine which driver will fit best with the team. Tsunoda has kept a close connection with Honda throughout his career. Despite being with Red Bull for five years, he has yet to take part in a test session for the main team. Now Honda is backing him more than ever to help secure this long-awaited chance to prove himself in a Red Bull car. Speaking on the subject, Koji Watanabe, the CEO of Honda Racing Corporation, expressed his strong support for Yuki Tsunoda's future with Red Bull Racing. In an interview with Autosport, he stated, our goal is for him to work hard and secure a seat at Red Bull Racing. We believe he has the talent. While driver decisions ultimately lie with the team, we've strongly requested that Tsunoda be given the chance to drive and test in a Red Bull car. We want him to have the opportunity to showcase his ability. Watanabe also mentioned his direct conversations with Christian Horner, the team principal of Red Bull, about Tsunoda's potential. He noted, he hasn't ruled it out. Nothing has been decided yet, but I think we need to proceed properly. Looking ahead, Honda is set to part ways with Red Bull in 2026 as they will partner with Aston Martin in the new era of regulations. Despite this upcoming change, Watanabe remains optimistic about Tsunoda's prospects. He said, if all goes well and Tsunoda's abilities are recognized, I believe he could remain with Red Bull beyond 2026 and compete for championships. Watanabe also focused on the importance of Tsunoda's current focus. 
It would be ideal for Tsunoda to become more of a Red Bull driver. It's not as if he's parting ways with Honda forever. His current focus should be on securing a Red Bull seat, and if that's his goal, he should pursue it. The Japanese driver, Yuki Tsunoda, is still in contention to potentially replace Sergio Perez next season, even though team principal Christian Horner emphasizes that Perez has a contract. Tsunoda is set to participate in the end-of-season test in Abu Dhabi, which will take place just two days after the final race at Yas Marina Circuit on July 8th. Horner mentioned, Yuki is a member of the junior team, and it's something we have discussed with Honda. He highlighted Tsunoda's unique experience at the Goodwood Festival of Speed earlier this year, where he had the opportunity to drive a current Formula One car using an open-face helmet and goggles. Additionally, Horner confirmed that Tsunoda will have another chance to test the Red Bull car during the tyre test at the season's end. He noted, it's something that's been agreed for quite some time. This testing opportunity will allow Tsunoda to work closely with Red Bull racing engineers and demonstrate his skills in a Red Bull racing car, making it an important step in his career as he seeks to secure a seat in the team for the future. What does the overdue Red Bull test for Tsunoda mean? Well, Tsunoda recently shared his thoughts on the possibility of driving a Red Bull car during the upcoming tyre test in Abu Dhabi. In the paddock at the Mexican Grand Prix, he stated, I think it will happen, but it's a Red Bull racing thing. You never know until that day. His comments, combined with the openness of Red Bull Motorsport advisor Helmut Marco about the situation, suggest that Tsunoda is likely to get his chance even though he has not been directly informed. Should the Abu Dhabi test not occur, Tsunoda could still participate in the testing of previous cars, TPC program, which involves driving the 2022 Red Bull RB18. However, he acknowledges that this would not carry the same weight as testing the latest model. He expressed excitement about the opportunity, stating, it's a very good opportunity. At least I can show a bit of my driving and the engineers can see how I'm driving. It's very important, at least it feels great finally giving me an opportunity. Moreover, Tsunoda's promotion to Red Bull has been a topic of speculation for a while. While he is on Red Bull's books, the team has long harbored doubts regarding his emotional control during races. Tsunoda himself has discussed the need to improve in this area. Although he has made progress, concerns about his communication style in the cockpit and overall technical feedback remain. As he candidly admitted, there's probably room that I'm not really able to improve as much as they wanted, especially for Red Bull communications. Nonetheless, his speed has been proven, and he has shown greater consistency in his performances in 2024. Adding to the complexity of Tsunoda's situation is Liam Lawson, who is also vying for a seat at Red Bull. Lawson made a strong return to F1 in Austin, finishing ninth. His impressive pace during the qualifying session and race has garnered attention, and having already driven the Red Bull RB20 on two tyre test days this year, Red Bull may feel they have sufficient data on him from his six outings in the 2024 season. The discussions around Tsunoda driving a Red Bull have reportedly been in the works for several months. If confirmed, this opportunity should not be seen as a final evaluation for his potential seat at Red Bull Racing. Rather, it may be as close as he gets to being promoted to the A-team. Currently, Lawson poses a significant challenge to Perez's position, but he will need to build on his impressive performance in Austin to make a compelling case for his promotion. Tsunoda is primarily seen as a benchmark against Lawson. His chance to drive a Red Bull will allow him to showcase his talent and potentially change opinions about his capabilities even if he remains a long shot for a promotion. If Lawson were to secure the Abu Dhabi test instead, it would likely be viewed as a serious evaluation of his candidacy. In contrast, the potential test for Tsunoda appears to be more influenced by Honda than by Red Bull. Nevertheless, Tsunoda remains optimistic, hoping that this opportunity could pave the way for his future within the Red Bull family and the wider F1 landscape. So, what do you think of Tsunoda joining Red Bull for 2025? Comment below your views and subscribe for more such videos.